Anyway, so let me introduce you to my guest. Let me show them to you for the people that watch this. Uh, it's Randy Mornson. Randy there, there's there's a couple of things about me that are relevant, I think, to, to the show. For I've been okay. fortunate to to be sober for 28 plus years. Oh, that's beautiful. And, and currently, I'm I'm working as a board advisor to the Doctors Goodwill Foundation. My background, it, from a corporate standpoint, yeah. uh, I, I come from a background of finance and energy. Okay. So I'm a former banker in financial services, and and right. then we built a company that was acquired by a $10 billion gas and electric utility in, in Minnesota. So I have quite a varied past, and we can talk more about the wreckage of, of my past <laughs> yeah. uh, here, in, here in a minute, too. Are you open about that stuff? I mean, Absolutely. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. That's beautiful. So I had a great upbringing. So yeah. I, 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 I've heard of many other stories where they— you know, there was abuse or there was you right. know, some other challenges with life. That wasn't me. I was I was a, a decent kid. I was a strong C student. Right. Uh, you yeah. know. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> and <clears throat> was fortunate to, to be decent in baseball. So then turned down uh, some baseball scholarships to, to go play baseball in college. Okay. And instead, uh, what, what I say about my college days is I went to college to play baseball, mm -hmm. chase women, and drink beer. Yes. In any given order, any any particular day, yeah. my my dad encouraged me to go into the banking industry, mm -hmm. and um, so I did, and actually had my first job. And six months into my banking career, my forty five year old dad died. Oh, uh, so ended up marrying my high school sweetheart a year later, mm -hmm. and um, life was good. As my my testimony is is I I just had great financial success, had all my insurance licenses, had my real estate. You didn't mention real estate ah, before, so you already actually have it. had that at, <laughs> at that time. Okay, and built my first house when I was twenty three, twenty four years old. Uh, wow, you, you, you just don't do that, right? So, right. So on the outside, I was I was a crazy successful young guy right. that was very driven. On the inside, I was a mess. Wife pulls into the driveway and my right. car is in the garage right. and she can't find me. So we had actually bought a duplex at that time. And in the other half of the duplex was a, a young, cute high school teacher mm -hmm. uh, in, in that community that was our tenant. Uh -huh. Well, my wife finally figured out that well, I was there, but then she went She went upstairs and knocked on the door and found me passed mm. out in the bed alongside our tenant. Oh, okay. That's never that's good. That's not good. That's not and good. And so that's that's where the destruction really began right. for me. I'd right. lost my dad. Now I've totally screwed up my marriage. Right. Again, my business life was always good on the right. outside, right. but that, that, was, that was the first thing. At that time, then I was I was fortunate enough to to uh, marry another great woman, mm -hmm. and we had a we. She had two children from from a prior marriage, mm -hmm. and um, part way into that that marriage, we had a, a beautiful five year old son named Jay, mm -hmm. and it was a Sunday afternoon. We were at our place. We were living in Iowa now mm -hmm. at that at that point, mm -hmm. and we were at our place on the river. And he doubled over in, in excruciating pain and was vomiting something green and, mm. and so on. So we rushed him to the emergency room, and the ER physician came in and said, well, it looks like we're going to have to prep him for an emergency appendectomy. And my wife came running at me just sobbing, and I said, what is wrong? She said, something happened to, to Jay. And I said, what? Well, the doctor, the ER physician, had done the math on the bed sheet wrong. And instead of pushing t two milli equivalents of potassium to, to balance his, his electrolytes, he pushed 20. Well, potassium is what they use to put animals down. It had, had, there were two, two RNs in the room that refused to do it, and the doctor said, I'll just do it myself, and sent, sent our beautiful son into cardiac arrest and, and ultimately died. Oh my God! So, so we found out later, and it wasn't ever part of my my desire to have him disbarred or, or never to practice again. But we we came to find out that he had worked thirty six hours straight, and there was pretty good rumor mill that said he was high on crack or cocaine when he did that. My mission, as I'm speaking across the country and around the world, on this crisis that we have in corporate America, in right. the medical community, there's three professions that, that are really struggling right now. Mm -hmm. One is the, the legal profession. Yeah. The second is the medical profession. Right. The third is commercial airline pilots. Yeah. So when I, when I speak to medical practitioners, mm -hmm. what I say is I don't ever want another parent 
to go through what I did with my son because of the shortcomings and misgivings of a doctor. Remember, and I can't wait till your book comes out, by the way. So go to that closed group, follow Randy, follow that, because his book's going to be phenomenal. It's what did that, the, the, the Vegas say? That, God took me to Las Vegas. God took me to Las Vegas. To get sober. To get sober. All right, Randy, thank you very much. From all, everybody here on the couch live, and of course, WPSN99.com, the Problem Solving Network. Adios, amigos. It's time for a taco. Goodbye. And that was without even a single drop of rum. (laughs) That was awesome.